Morning internet. Morning Simmons. Morning. It is Silverstone National today and it is unfortunately pretty rainy and grim. Spent the night in the back of the car again, which is becoming one of my favourite places to sleep already. Hold on. It's got a really good security system. It's dead good back here. Pretty comfortable. So I've kicked back in there. We've got the garages today, which is a nice thing to have, especially at a facility like Silverstone. It's just a national circuit, so a little one. Probably, arguably, the worst circuit at Silverstone. Um, the car's pretty much the same as last time. You've seen all the prep that I've done, which was making sure stuff was tight. Um, we're out in half an hour, so I'll need to get to assembly soon. So I'm gonna get all my gear on and uh, hopefully qualify good.
going went all right. You'll see from the footage that it got really slippy in the middle of the session. Uh, the fastest lap was a 109, which is middle of the pack. Um, that was right in the middle of the session before it got really, really slippy. Chris is queued up for the dyno, so we're gonna go and see how he's getting on now. So yesterday, what we didn't film was Kevin's car got put on the dyno. So we already know that they don't tell you how much power your car makes. It looks like Chris is having to sign an autograph. He's back in the naughty boy corner. What do we think this man's going to get told off for? Find his special boost button in the car, so he's been given the heads up. 100%, 110%. I heard, <laughs> yeah. We'll just generally try and make the rear a bit more compliant. So, you can hear the F1000s in the background. Chris and I are sharing a garage. Did I mention we've got sweet garages and that we've got Chris's EG in the front of the garage, mine in the back. The plan is to get the rear end a little bit softer, so we're going to soften the rear bar off, and we're going to also we're going to also um, soften the rear suspension a little bit as well. Just hopefully get a bit more rear end grip. So we've just managed to squeeze in and adjust the roll bar, which is here. So we've now hopefully got some softer rear sway. Should allow the rear to just maintain grip a bit more with the slippy weather. Next job is going to be to just give a little bit less bump. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we did have another issue, which was that the car got pretty hot in the assembly area because I don't have a fan on the radiator because I'm the most prepared man you've ever met. We might have to just get Stanley knife on that. So we're gonna fashion a little overflow bottle onto this pipe here and just zip tie it somewhere over here. Make sure we're not spilling water everywhere. Now we've rigged up a little overflow situation with some water. So we'll get ready for race one. Still raining outside. It's going to be slippy again.
race bad, brake car, have to retire. Last lap retired. Retired as the last lap board came out. You'll see in the video that there was some real weird stuttering. The engine kept cutting out. It wasn't particularly clear why, but I thought it was fuel starvation because in qualifying, the fuel gauge was going from half full down to like below empty when I was turning. Excuse me, K24. So in this race, I bring the tank, put plenty of fuel in it, but that's not solved the problem. So we've established now it's got to be a wiring issue to the fuel pump. So once you leave the car sat still, it'll then start up again. It's a bit spluttery because there's no fuel in a fuel rail, but that is the problem. So we need to try and fix that. In the race, you can see I was lifting and trying to conserve fuel, but obviously that was a waste of time. I was trying to keep that white car behind that we were chasing for a while. We'll try and fix it before race two. Hopefully the weather holds and we, uh, we can get out again and go fast. First port of call is this very shady rivnut that and I knew was place. shady. Look, I hadn't touched it. Yeah, I knew it was shady. The rivnut's been in a thing. Yeah, right, we'll fix it. Josh has diagnosed the problem immediately and fixed it. Good job he was here because he was going to go home. So we've now improved the main battery earth. Let's see if the car cranks up and starts easier. I will need some electrical power. Fix the negative. Now we just need a positive, don't we, Dan? I mean, it sounds healthy, but it usually did anyway, but... It started up, didn't it? I'm gonna go with that's fixed it, yeah, yeah. and then try and finish top 10 race two. How are you starting on race two? No, probably from the fucking pits, mate. I don't know how it works, do you? I can't really see if past this side or any position. Do we need these in front of his face to have this conversation, or can we do it without, do you think? We've had it confirmed. I start at the back, so I'm going to get Josh to drive, and he'll come at the front. <laughs> I've got to go. Oh, dear. I'll have to do it then. We'll just see what happens. Oh, I'll see you. <laughs> Peace. i got my suit. Who are you again? Josh has got to leave. Bye, Josh. <laughs> I've done the bad, Josh. Go on. About to go and get lined up for race two. Fingers crossed my car can make it all the way through. Chris is starting in third position, so second row of the grid. He's got the pace to do really well here, so fingers crossed. He either holds third or moves up, gets himself onto a podium because he really deserves it. The car's going mint. I keep saying all the time coming here, it's just really cool to see two EGs together. Don't see it often. A fast one and a slow one for now. Think you're going to do good, Chris? Yeah, and the changing room, I'll film this bit. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. Right, it's time for you to go. Your planet needs you. Fire up your engines. Rev up your engines. Okay, it doesn't sound good, that. It sounds like we're going to have the same problem again.
race is still on, so we'll watch a bit. How's everyone going? disappointing end to today's racing activities something to do to fix the car I suppose but the good news is we've got a bit of time until Coombe the car is once again not crashed but is unfortunately out of action the difficult thing is it still drives it seems to be especially bad on hard right hand turns the complication is that's all there is here hard right hand turns so Fingers crossed I can replicate this problem on the road because luckily that's roundabout direction. Um, and find the problem, it'll be some daft electrical gremlin. I have quite a few of them. But get loaded up, call it a day, and uh, try again next week. At least can drive it on the trailer, don't have to push it, it's good news. That definitely concludes Silverstone. Fast EG and slow EG are loaded up on trailers. BMW support car is broken. Or was it you were saying to me, Dan, the worse day you're having, the more enjoyable the video is going to be? Yeah. Is this because there's too much music coming out of it last night? I started it up early and it was alright. Hold on, how good that a Volvo is rescuing the BMW. Probably better for Dan's channel, this. Regular viewers of Daniel's channel will know that he is a big Volvo guy. Big Volvo guy. How the tables have turned. How the turntable. wagon look. We saw these boys arriving and I was very curious about how they got this car onto the back of this tipper. Turns out they used the other trailer to lift up the level of the car and then drive it up some massive ramps. That is a very, very good way of loading a car up. Big seal of approval. Straight up onto the tipper there. They nearly lost her there. <laughs> nice. Just made it back. Just jumped out of the car to put the trailer into the unit. And what is this? The only half decent looking tire on the trailer has decided to shit itself. Don't know where it's leaking from, but it's definitely leaking. Glad it happened here and not somewhere far from home. I guess that is the perfect end to a trouble filled day. Just more things to fix before the next round at Castle Coombe. Not sure if it will make a good vlog today because I was in a bit of a grumpy mood after the car broke in the first race. But hey ho, there'll be some decent onboards, fingers crossed, from a slippy qualifying. Decent bit from race one and nothing from race two. But thanks for watching. See you again.